everyone. I'm Laura Robinson, president of Orange County Fine Arts, a nonprofit organization that's been serving the art community for 50 years. We invite you to visit our galleries, Avant Garden Gallery in downtown Santa Ana, Showcase Bear Street Studios and Galleries in South Coast Plaza Village, and the Artist Eye Gallery in Laguna. Yes, I am an artist, a sculptor and a painter. However, I spent most of my life teaching mathematics. In the study of mathematics, problems of perimeter and area continue to intrigue and, and challenge students from kindergarten through grad school. Today, let's focus on the study of area. I present you two models. This 12 inch square represents the area inside it, 144 square inches. This is a square has the smallest perimeter possible, 444 square inches. Um, here's another representation of exactly 144 square inches. This model is one inch wide and 144 inches long. And if you multiply those two together, you get 144 square inches. So the area of this one has a long perimeter, whereas this one has a short one, but they're exactly the same. On the model, on which of these models of a field would a farmer rather sow his crops? That's the question. When alternate energy ideas were proposed to help relieve U.S. dependency on oil, some suggestions were that we should grow our own biodiesel by cultivating oil-rich crops. There were strong arguments against it. Fields dedicated to raising food crops should not be diminished by growing crops to feed our energy hunger. And most of our, our, of our arable land is already used for raising food for the U.S. and for the world. So let's change this paradigm. I propose we look at this second model of a field. Does this ribbon shape look familiar? I'll give you a hint. You drive on it every day. The government is in control, in control of almost 4 million linear miles of public roadways. Public means that it already belongs to us, you and me. 4 million miles. That is the length of our ribbon. Now, our width could include embankments beside the roads, medians, easements along the way. But let's be conservative and say only 10 feet on one side coming and 10 on the other going. So that would be a width of 20 arable feet. That's the width of our ribbon. And let's be conservative again and look at just half of those four million linear miles. So, that, because half is going to be difficult to deal with, uh, it's going to be urban or uh, just difficult. Even at the conservative estimate of two million miles, that gives us an equivalent of an 8,000 square mile field, looking like this, that could be planted and harvested for energy. Now, if we double the width of the side of the road, 20 feet on one side, 20 feet on the other side, now this amount becomes 16,000 square miles, the equivalent of a 16,000 square of land and a mile of land at a larger land mass of each of nine of our smaller states. That's a lot of land. Notice that in this case, the very long perimeter would be an advantage. Crops could easily manage, be managed because they, they're accessible. They're beside the road. Local farmers or ranchers could divide up the field and manage the crops, giving them added income, or we could create new jobs for the newly defined set of managers of this two million mile long field. The crop could be easily watered where the rain is low with just a spray truck. Harvesting could be a state or local project. Many of these roadways across country have grasses already that are mowed. 
As the seasons move in a cycle from north to south, there would be a long season of production. We wouldn't have to worry about bugs or pesticides or pollutants because these hardy plants would be used for energy, not food. And some of these oil-rich plants also make a lovely landscape. Palm trees, sunflowers, rapeseed and mustard fields. There are other advantages to this idea of land use. Plant growth is a CO2 sink and will offset much of the greenhouse effect of burning the energy that's grown. The infrastructure for making this biodiesel project is already in place. Bringing it up within the transportation system that holds together those four million miles makes it even more of a possibility. Thank you for listening.